Good morning my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This week in our um, sewing basics I wanted to touch base um, with you about the zippers. More, uh, this video will be more geared towards bag zippers, zippers that we can use for bags, pouches, um, backpacks and so on, than apparel zipper. If you would like, definitely leave a comment below if you would like a um, video about zippers for apparel fabric and I will gladly make you uh, one of those too. But this time, so I, I keep it a little bit more compact, I wanted to talk about uh, mainly bag zippers. The sizes, most popular sizes, most popular styles, most popular types and uh, a couple of tips that I have for you for adding zippers. I'm not a professional bag maker, this is all from my experience from sewing bags for personal use, for strike offs and uh, so on. So I will talk to you, let's say, from beginner to beginner or from a little over beginner, <laughs> I wouldn't call myself an expert, far from it, to, to beginner. So if you're a veteran when it comes to making bags, this video may not be for you unless you really enjoy watching videos on YouTube. This is more for people who start and uh, in sewing bags and or would like a refresher about the, the um, options of zippers out there. So in this video I will also show you how to add a zipper pull without any forks or gadgets or anything that will clutter your sewing room. Like we, we want to keep it clean and neat and make room for the, the important things like zippers and fabric. <laughs> uh, it, it, it seems ironic to give you tips about not cluttering your sewing room when my, I have a wall of fabric and a wall of zippers. But hey, we take the wins where we can get them, right guys? All right, so without further ado, let's get started. The most common used um, zippers for bag makings are nylon zipper, resin zipper or metal zippers. I'll start with the metal because there is really not much uh, I can show you with them because I honestly don't own any metal zippers. I don't like metal zippers. I find that they're not as user friendly because they tend to uh, break needles if you're not very careful. So um, I just want to uh, tell you that there, there are metal zippers out there. I just don't really use them. So. I'm going to show you a store-bought or two store-bought bags that I have with metal zippers. As you can see, the teeth are metal and they're separated. And these are probably a number five. My most important tip when you sew with metal zippers is to make sure you hang crank over your zipper ends. Don't let the machine sew over them because you, you will break a needle. In the war between a zipper tooth and a needle, the, the zipper will win. So you don't want to have like a small part of a needle poking your eyes or I don't know what else. So uh, they, there is um, specific zipper pulls for metal zippers. Most of them come in uh, with the stops already added to the zipper, like you can see in this bag. There, there are stops at both ends. I don't like sewing metal zippers, so I don't owe any by the yard or pre-cut. So that's why I'm showing you ready, uh, ready-made bags. So metal zippers do exist. They are very uh, resilient and very strong, so it's definitely a plus of metal zippers is the, uh, that they are long-lasting. However, as a, from a sewing perspective, I prefer not using metal zippers, but you can definitely do so if you'd like. Metal zippers are available at Joann's, at Hobby Lobby. I've gotten metal zippers even from Walmart at one point. So they are readily available if you, it's something that you would like to, to use. The other two styles that I definitely used a lot are nylon zipper and resin zipper tapes. 
or um, pre-cut zipper. So let's start with uh, showing you the difference between the two. The nylon zipper versus the resin zipper. Let me get one of these tapes. This is from, actually they're both from Wizardry, Stitchery and Crafts. My favorite place to shop for zippers and handbag accessories and hardware. Uh, their website is geekyhardware.com and as always everything I'm showing you it's going to be linked in the description of the video. So these are the two most common zipper tapes I wanted to show, talk to you about, zipper styles. Uh, resin, this uh, this one right here, resin zipper tape and nylon zipper tape. If you want, ever want to take apart a zipper, a nylon zipper, you will notice that the coils, the zipper coils that you see on it, the ones that entertain, intertwine like this when you, when you close the zipper up, the coil is actually one long strand of nylon. So it loops like so in the whole, uh, the whole length. So it's one loop of nylon stitched in. Whereas resin teeth, you can see each individual, individual tooth is attached to, to the zipper tape. So that's the main difference. This, the nylon tape is one nylon strand loop whereas these are separate zipper teeth, much like the metal ones. So I find that the resin tape is a, the best replacement for metal tape because it does have the same look with separate teeth, but it, it can be sewn over because these are resin, so the needle won't really break if you stitch over them. And you can get much more fun teeth in resin. Like the, if you see this one, I'm hoping it focuses. If you see this one is like uh, skeleton heads. And I also have this one that is hearts, also from Wizardry Stitchery. So you can get more fun zippers with the nylon um, and resin versus metal. One thing that I do want to mention about uh, nylon versus resin is that they use different pools. While you may be able to um, change pools from one tape to another when, uh, within the nylon family or within the resin family, you cannot change and interchange pools uh, between nylon and um, resin tapes. I had a little bag. Yeah, I don't know where it is with, uh, with this. So as you can see, they look similar. This is a nylon zipper pool and this is a resin zipper pool. They do look similar, but one will not work with the other. So it's important when you do buy zipper tape and zipper pools to make sure if they're not sewed together, that you're, you're buying the appropriate pool for the zipper tape that you have. Like even if I wanted to use my frame uh, for this, I couldn't. So it's important again that you use the correct uh, and when you purchase online you will see that the listing will say zipper tape, uh, nylon zipper tape and pulls and resin zipper tape and resin zipper tape pulls. So they're specific for this. If I wanted to use this gray one with my hearts, um, with the red one, I could. Or the hearts zipper pull with this, I could. But I could not in, uh, change them and use them for the nylon tape. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about regarding uh, nylon, resin, and metal and, uh, and their pulls. Two other categories when it comes to uh, zippers for bags are zipper by the yard which is what I mainly use which you can buy in various yard increments 
or three pack zippers which I sometimes use but not all the time because and I'll tell you why I like one over the other. So this one is a 24 inch, I believe. No, 16, 36, I think this is a yard. This is a yard of pre-cut zippers. See, it has a tape at the end that's a little longer than the stops. And it comes with the, with the um, zipper teeth already attached to it. And this is how you buy it. Whether it's a double pull or a single pull, it comes pre-made and both ends will have this at the end. For me, this is a great alternative if you don't if, uh, want to start buying zipper by the yard. However, it's a wasteful alternative. Like this, let's say this is a one yard and I need 20 inches and I'm using the 20 inches, then I have another 16 that will probably end up in the trash if I don't have another pool to add to them. So it's wasteful. Whereas zipper by the yard, if I need 20 inches from my five yard cut, I will cut 20 inches and then the rest will be used for a different project. So that's one of the reasons why I prefer zipper by the yard to um, pre-made zippers. Obviously, if you are comfortable adding your zipper pools, which you should because I'll show you how easy it is, you can save your cuts. Let's say I use, I have a 16 inch cut. I will not throw it. I will save it and put a zipper pull from my many, many zipper pulls and uh, save my, my tape. So it will, it can be saved, but if you don't have zipper pulls and you don't buy zipper pulls, you just work with what comes on the zipper, then you're kind of wasting the rest of it. It's going to end up in the trash. Not, not a financially, uh, safe and um, advisable option. So that's why I prefer zipper by the by the yard. Zipper by the yard does not come with the pools on it. You buy the pools separately. Like I said, make sure you buy the right pools for the right uh, zipper. And then you use whatever amount you need. Let's say you want to make a double zipper, you use two pools. You want to make a single zipper, you use one pool and then the rest you store it away. Again, these are two different forms of zipper, by the yard and pre-cut. Another um, thing that I wanted to touch base is sizes. The most common used sizes for uh, zippers for bag making are uh, number five, which is what I've been showing you so far, and number three. Also number four and, a, four and a half. For me, four and a half and five are pretty much the same thing. So I put it all under the number five category and then there is number three. Luckily now I've seen um, custom uh, zipper shops, including Wizardry, Stitchery and Crafts, that offer number three by the yard, which is amazing. I like it to have a, an alternative, but my most used is definitely number five. Number five is what you use for the outside of the bag mainly and for um, anything that like the backpacks or if you put zippers on the straps and whatnot. Number three zipper is mainly used for inside pockets or outside pockets. However, I do find that I've been replacing my number three. If the pattern calls for number three, I sometimes just use number five and adjust my measurements slightly. So it's not impossible to use a number of, uh, three zipper for uh, instead of a number a number five zipper instead of a number three if the pattern calls for one but I do want it to show you that they exist and sometimes they come in all kinds of fun prints so uh, it can uh, you can definitely purchase them I don't have any number three matching but I think Melissa from wizardry and she's not the only one but I know she does uh, matching number five and number three this way uh, for the same bag you can use for the outside let's say a number five and for the inside pockets or any little pockets a number three it's the same thing for number three zippers they come pre-made and uh, uh, or by the yard like this one is I think this one is from Amazon and they have their own pools because they need to fit the tape these are number three pools 
and you'll be attaching them the same way you would add the number uh, five pulls. Uh, these numbers that I keep mentioning are basically the size in millimeters of the actual zipper tape. So you can see here and here, the actual, not this zipper tape, I'm sorry, I meant the zipper um, coils. So you can see here that this is wider. So that's a five millimeter wide zipper tape. And this is a three millimeter wide uh, zipper um, coil. I mean, the tape itself, it's most of the time it's the same width or maybe a little smaller on the um, number three. Most zipper by the yard um, have a one and a quarter tape. So from here to here is one inch and a quarter. And uh, it, seem, it looks like this one is one inch. So for the number three is one inch from side to side and three millimeters for the zipper coils, five millimeters for the zipper coils here. Again, basically what you need to know is that they're mainly used for insides, pockets. Um, there's two more zippers that I wanted to show you that I've used before for bag making as, as exceptions, so not something that I use constantly, but I do want to show them to you because they're fun and um, they, uh, actually three, and they give uh, a different look to your project. So one will be this uh, transparent zipper tape, which is great if you make like beach stuff or um, pouches that you line with um, clear vinyl because this tape has vinyl on uh, both sides and just the number five coils. You use it exactly the same way as you would use a regular uh, number five tape. But it's just fun that it's uh, with vinyl instead of uh, tape on both sides. So it's pretty cute. This is one. The second one I wanted to show you is this uh, lacy uh, zipper. This is an apparel zipper. It's not made for bags specifically, but it's kind of similar to the number three by the yard zipper. It's, it's pre-cut. This is, I think, 12 inches or 18 inches. 12. No, 8. No, it's 8. Sorry. 8 inches. And these are cute to add some accents. There is a bag from So Sweetness that's a free project. It's the Windsor bag and, and she uses for that square pouch um, lace pocket. So it's, it's cute to add like a nice pop of color and a, an accent. But this can also be used for clothes. So, and they're very inexpensive. I, you can get them on Amazon for like a hundred of them for 10 bucks. They're really inexpensive. They're cute. And the last style of zipper that I wanted to show you, that's a little different than the regular ones, are the reversed zipper. So these zippers have um, the design, they have the printed image on the other side of the tape. So with a normal zipper tape, you can see the zipper teeth, which is the right side, have the printed image. This one is the back, it's white. So this one has the printed image with the, where the zipper are, as opposed to this reversed zipper that has the image printed on the back of the zipper. So when you attach this, you will be attaching uh, attaching it reverse so when they when they close they will look like an invisible zipper for bags when it closed with a regular bag your zipper teeth are on the outside with this zipper your zipper teeth will be on the inside of the bag so you will see the nice printed tape and it's like an invisible zipper see these style as you can see here they have their own zipper pulls you cannot use a regular zipper pull for this uh, reversed zipper. So you need to purchase the specific zipper pulls for uh, this style. Otherwise they won't close, the zipper teeth won't close. Because you need, see, you need, first of all, this 
uh, the little charm, let's call it, to be on the wrong side. So right now, I, I, even if I put the zipper like this, then it would be on the inside and you couldn't open it. So they have specific zipper pulls for this style. So that's the main difference. The print goes on the back. So it's kind of like an invisible zipper for bags. So these are the zippers that I wanted to show you. Now, since we talked about the zipper by the yards a lot, I want to show you how to add a zipper pull and how to add a double zipper pull. And uh, then I'll talk a little bit about zipper fit and wrap it up because my plan was to not be longer than 15, 20 minutes and I'm already past the 20 minutes mark. So I do hope that you've enjoyed this video so far. Oh, one more thing. Another, uh, it's not a different style of zipper, but it's a zipper to keep in mind when you purchase zippers, is the glow in the dark zipper. Again, this one is from Wizardry Stitchery. It comes with like a plastic zipper pull and it looks like a regular nylon teeth with black tape zipper pull. But a zipper tape, but this one actually glows in glows in the dark. So if you keep it in the light during the day, at night it's like a green fluorescent light. And same thing for the zipper pull. And I do keep this in a bag because this look exactly like my black tape with silver teeth. So I don't want to confuse them. And I do like to keep the pulls with them, so I know this is glow in the dark. It's a, it's the same. The type it's a nine uh, nylon number five zipper tape by the yard so it's not a different category it's just a different style so getting back to adding zipper pulls let's add a zipper pull so I show you how easy it is to do so without any additional gadgets or tools I never got behind the whole fork trend I figured I don't need another reason to stab myself. As you can see, I am prone to accidents. This is from my bees, from the smoker for, that we use for the bees when we check them. So yeah, I, am, I don't need a fork close to my hands. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So open your zipper tape, like so. Seal your ends. And I try to look which is the first zipper tooth that comes, that uh, is going to be at the end here. So I think that the left side has my first zipper tooth. So I'm going to start with the left side, add my pull about halfway through on the left side. And then I will add the other side and slightly push down, making sure that, let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see better. All right, so I'm going to start with this side, add my zipper pull a little bit, hold it, and then slide my other half and push it in making sure that they are close at, at the top if you're doing a single zipper then you can just pull it all the way Cut and if there's a if you find if there is, is a one you it might be off by a tooth like this one you can tell here it's off by a tooth. See how it it um, balloons a little bit on this side. Let me see if you can see. See on this it's off by a tooth. So I know and I can see it here too. It's off by a tooth. So I can redo it. Or if I'm using a single zipper, don't apply this method if you're using a double zipper because it will look bad. So if you're using a single zipper, you just cut, open it all the way and then it will realign. Or of course, you can open it and do it again. Again, I put it half, a little bit through, then the other side. Oops. 
without any tools. If you find that adding a fork to your sewing arsenal will help you, like it basically the fork is the extra hand I find, but I don't always need an extra hand. So see, now it's perfect. Now if I put it all the way here, you'll see that there's no more bubbling. See, this one stays flat. So now I know that, and you can see it here, that they're match exactly the same. And this comes in handy when you have you and you want to add a double zipper. It's best that when you uh, add a double zipper that everything matches from the beginning because then if you have puckering on one side you need to redo it for sure. So easy peasy you just cut you seal your ends and continue sewing your project. That's with a single zipper. Now for adding a double zipper which will look this is already pre-made which will look like this one you will open it in op opposite directions and these are my favorite styles for bags especially for backpacks like i don't think i've done a backpack without a double zipper before and if i did i didn't like it afterwards <laughs> so this is what a double zipper is it closes and opens in the different direction so for that you will take your zipper tape I'm trying to see if I have a smaller one to show you. Um, they're all stuffed in there. So let's say you add one side the way we did this one. So then I'm going to take the other end. Obviously yours will not be this long. But you will be repeating the same thing with your other end. I'm sealing my ends with a lighter. Also from Wizard Distichery. These super cute ears. How adorable are they? So I'm going to be doing the exact same thing from the opposite side of the tape. So open your tape a little bit. Slide one, pull one side, the one that has the zipper tooth first. And then you put the other side in and see if you hold it like this, it stays. You don't need an extra hand. And just push at the top. And just pull. Now I think, yes, I am not happy. You can see here that this type size has one tooth off. You can tell right away if you lay it flat on the table. And I don't want to drag it all the way to the other end because it will not look perfect. So when it comes to double zipper, I like a little bit of perfection. <laughs> I don't like the little bubble that forms. If you don't mind it, you can be off by a tooth and it's not going to be the end of the world. I, I promise you that. <laughs> Nobody will notice it but you. But if, if you're like me and for the double teeth at least, you want it to make sure that it's better, <laughs> you will redo it. So... I'm looking at my teeth and it seems, yes, that this side has the first tooth. So I'm going to start there and then I'll add the other side. And again, slowly pushing. Mm, doesn't look like this one is first tooth. Again, because I want perfection, I'll, I'll keep redoing it until I'm happy. But it doesn't take that long. And even with the fork, just so you know, you would still need to make sure that they're aligned properly. There you go, done. So I just pushed it and now, now I'm happy. See, when I lay it flat on the table, it doesn't pucker on one side. So now I just pull this all the way. Imagine that your piece will be much shorter than this. And there you have it. 
So now your bag will be uh, opening and closing with the two zippers. Super easy. Very cute. You can go mix and match like I did here. Mix and match zipper pulls or you can have them the same. It's up to you. Super easy. Last thing I wanted to show you when it comes to zipper, uh, adding the zipper pulls is the nylon, uh, the, I'm sorry, the um, resin tape. It's exactly the same procedure. Probably even a little easier I find with uh, the resin tape. Same thing, I'm sealing my ends with the lighter so they don't fray. I'm taking my zipper pull and I'm adding it. So this is the front of the zipper pull. This is what you'll be adding first. So like so, so on one side and then the other side, super easy. Push it a little bit at the top and then just pull. Super, super easy. See? First shot. I find that the uh, resin are a little easier to add than, uh, than the nylon. But both of them are pretty easy. So don't uh, be scared of zipper by the, the yard. In the long run it will save you money. Plus it's cuter. Uh, come on. It's cuter. And you can get all these fun pulls and all kinds of cute finishes just for your zipper by the yard. So look how cute they are. All kinds of finishes, rainbow, gold, light gold, rose gold, antique gold, <laughs> gunmetal, various colors, so many possibilities, don't, don't say no to zipper by the yard. The last thing that I wanted to show you is a zipper foot. This is for a standard uh, domestic machine. Most uh, domestic machines do come with a zipper foot and you will need one to sew a zipper with them. For an industrial machine, I find that I don't need a zipper foot. They are available for industrial machines too. But on my machine, I have a Juki DU1181N. I find that the zipper foot that came with it does not... Re the, the um, sewing foot, the walking foot that came with it does not require... Um, different uh, foot for sewing zipper. It's, the zipper tape is wide enough that you can use an actual regular foot on it. When you sew on a domestic machine, you'll play, be placing your zipper foot like so. And most of the time you'll be aligning your end of the tape with the end of this little foot here. See, this little foot here aligned with the tape and this will yield you a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Most patterns do ask to, that you attach your uh, zipper tape with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So that's how you'll get it. Your, your zipper tape and the little foot here are aligned on this side and your needle will come right in here. Your needle, right in here. So that's a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Easy peasy, again these are, most of the time they come with your sewing machine, if they don't, zipper foot feet can be purchased on Amazon for like three, four dollars. They're not expensive at all. This is the one that came with my machine, I believe. I don't have a different one. If you buy a Teflon foot because you're sewing vinyl or a cork on your domestic machine, uh, the one I have, the Teflon foot that I have, I think it's enough. Yes, yeah, this one. This one is by Catex. I got it on Amazon. And when I use my domestic machine for bags, this is my favorite one. And this is narrow enough that you don't need to switch it for zippers, for zipper tapes and bag zipper. Because a bag zipper has a wider tape, like this is one and a quarter inch. And see, my foot goes right on it. So you, I, won't, I wouldn't change this one. So I would just use this one throughout the whole pro project. If you're using a standard N foot for your machine, then yes, you will need to change it. But if you're using one of these, then you're fine without replacing it. So I hope I put some light into this madness of many, many zipper options available. Find what works best for you. Play around with a little bit of everything. Uh, especially with resin and nylon tape. 
and as always do comment if you if there's a specific topic that you would like me to cover in our weekly sewing basics we've done so far adding interfacing with your heat press we've talked about uh, um, adding rivets and type of rivets now we've covered zipper so anything you feel like would be a basic that you need to have handy anytime you make a bag or make a garment go ahead and comment with the topic here and uh, I will gladly gladly cover them in future videos for now please subscribe turn on your notifications and like the videos if it's something that you've enjoyed I appreciate all your support as always and I will talk to you in the next one Mwah. bye my lovelies